Should people who are, have been bitten by a tick be routinely tested for alpha-gal syndrome? The short answer is no. As best we can tell, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people get tick bites every year. Only a small fraction of those actually develop alpha-gal IgE. And then from there, even a smaller fraction actually develop alpha-gal allergy or AGS. I think we tend to err on the side of we don't test after a, after a tick bite per se. I think it's reasonable to save the tick. It's certainly reasonable to, to note on your calendar when you had a tick bite. We obviously want people to observe the spot, the site, um, and pay attention for symptoms because you may not only develop AGS related symptoms, but if you had uh, fevers and headaches, and then we would need to think about perhaps other tick-borne illnesses so we tend to wait and see um, in, in terms of testing for, for those reasons, but equally the alpha-gal IgE takes a period of time to actually um, be created, so to speak, um, be produced. And it, it, if you tested too soon after, a, even if you later became positive, there's a, a period of time where you'd likely miss it. 